In your consumer news on this Monday morning, don't be alarmed if you spot giant robot spiders climbing up office buildings. They're just there to wash the windows. Named after mountain climbing goats, these AI powered robots can scale buildings vertically, making dangerous window cleaning safer. While they do still need some human supervision, they're already at work in Dallas. Here they go. Beyond just cleaning, the robots can also inspect buildings and alert owners to potential problems. A former Disney menu manager now facing federal charges for allegedly hacking restaurant menus and tampering with food allergy information. Prosecutors say the cyber attacks happened after his June firing, causing $150,000 in damage. The complaint says he also printed profanity on menus. The former employee denies those allegations, claiming Disney is trying to frame him. And Oxfam has released a study of 50 of the world's richest billionaires and the carbon emissions of their private jets, super yachts, and investments. It found they produce more carbon on average in just over 90 minutes than a regular person does in their entire life. Of note, the two private jets owned by Jeff Bezos emitted as much carbon in 12 months as an average Amazon employee would in 207 years. Wow. Well, Hello Kitty is turning 50. November 1st marked the 50th anniversary of the iconic fictional feline. Hanako Montgomery reports from Tokyo and meets a super fan celebrating her decades-long love for the cuddly kitty. In this sea of Hello Kitties, it's hard for super fan Asako Kanda to pick her favorite. <laughs> like many fans before her, Kanda was drawn to Hello Kitty as a child. Her collection's grown a bit since then. So this Hello Kitty is a special Hello Kitty that's celebrating her 50th birthday, and she's wearing a tartan uh, because Hello Kitty herself is actually British. She loves them all like family. Getting rid of any is out of the question. She's the one constant in my life. My love for Hello Kitty has never wavered. With her iconic red bow and mouthless charm, Hello Kitty has captivated generations of fans. In her 50 years, she's been a United Nations ambassador, met global stars, and even picked up some sports. All while taking Japan's kawaii, or cute, culture from niche to worldwide. And her hard work's paid off. Worth 80 billion US dollars, Hello Kitty is the second highest grossing franchise in the world, according to Title Max. Not bad for a little girl. Yes, you heard that right. Three apples. That only weighs three apples and is five apples tall. But Hello Kitty hasn't always been this popular. After her 1974 debut on a small coin purse, Hello Kitty merchandise sales slumped until parent company Sanrio hired designer Yuko Yamaguchi six years later, who turned to fans for help. They told me it was always the same stuff and that she wasn't stylish anymore. So I added new trends and made her more like everyone else, and gradually, sales started to improve. So you go. Since then, she's expanded Hello Kitty's world, giving the character new clothes, skills, and broadening her fan base to adults. After decades together, Yamaguchi says her bond with Kitty has evolved, from friend to alter ego, to talent she manages. Now, I feel like the two of us are working together to bring happiness to others. It's our way of giving back to all the fans who love and support Kitty. As for their striking resemblance, Yamaguchi says Kitty is the copycat. Because I was born before her. Hello Kitty may be small, but her impact on the world is anything but.